Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to have a look at the bit of plastic welding on the Piaggio NRG panels. But first of all, we've had a bit of mail come in, so let's take a look in here. And what we've actually got here is Grass Cutter Palmer, and that's Tim Palmer. So if you haven't got Tim's channel, go check out Grass Cutter Palmer. Link will be in the description down below. So what we're going to do is we've got enough room just to get you on the end there. And if I remember rightly, I think Tim did say, pass this one on to my dad. So I'll pass that on to him. And um, we're going to go in the log cabin now because we need to go in there because there's power in there. And I need to get the soldering iron out to do a bit of plastic welding. So I'll see you in there in a minute. Right, so I've bought the side panels in first. I know there is a little crack on the front one, but I thought we'd get started with these. And as you can see, they've got cracks down there, which hopefully we should be able to repair. And this one, you can see, it's actually got a bit missing, but I have actually still got the bit here. So we're going to hopefully get that put back in there and strengthen all this up again, because as you can see, it's fully, fully gone there. Let's get the soldering iron out, get it warmed up, and then we'll have a go at this. Right then, so what I've actually done here is I've actually put a set of... Um, mold grips just to pull the panel together to where it should be and what I'm going to do first of all is I'm just going to make a channel through this crack and we will be doing this on both sides you just want to follow your crack all the way along So as you can see, I've took the mold grips off now and it's not pinging away. Before it was just breaking into two bits there. That's got a bit of strength to it. And you can see I've put that bit back in there now. That's solid. I've got a crack here to do here first, but I want to concentrate on this bit. And these two little holes here, once we've rubbed it down and filled it in with more plastic, these will be getting a coat of fiberglass filler on there. So they'll be solid as well. But Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to melt a bit of plastic into it. And what I'm using here is a old end off a cable tie. And that just gives it a bit of strength back. So just heat that right up. And get that bubbling nice and hot so it falls into the little channel that you've just made. I mean you could have a go at using filler but I would say the filler would crack after a while, a bit of knock to it and uh, that's going to crack as well. We're putting plastic material back into this and we're strengthening it right up. As you can see there on that bit of time lapse that was one cable tie and i've just done the whole of that don't worry about all the edges 
because that will all be rubbed down because all this is going to take a skim of filler anyway but that's only that's only one side done now look and that's already solided it up but I will be doing the back side just to give it that reinforcement that it needs but that is that is solid now I'm bending that and that's not even moving so I'm just going to carry on doing this there's no point showing you that you've seen me do the first bit and it is a bit of a, a process to do this it does take a bit of time so let me get this bit done and I'll come back to you right then so welcome back as you can see now I've fully done that and that's the little piece I put in and that's solid in there and I did actually fill them two little holes up with plastic as well so that's really solid again and there's some more up there I've done and as you can see on the back that is solid so what we're going to do now is we're going to get some 120 paper on the DA sander and we're going to go over this just to get all the excess off and you can see down here where well, I've just actually rubbed it down with some 120 and you can see how it finishes it off so all the plastic is in that crease now and that's that's solid again that is rock hard that there's no flex in that at all so i will finish off because i want to feather all these scratches out and then that will have a skimmer filler and that's good that'll be good as new you won't even know that's under there so i'll put you on a bit of time lapse why i just flatten this down with a bit of one, 120 and i'll come back to you Right, and as you can see, I've uh, rubbed that down now. There's a few hairline cracks in there, but they're not nothing to worry about. And these, are, as I say, these are solid now. There's no flex in them at all. And I've also just done the other one. There was a crack there and a little crack there. And as you can see, no flex in that at all. Really happy with that. So what we've got to do is I'm just going to finish sanding this one because I want to get all these surface scratches out and then we'll get a coat of top skim on there just to iron out any of these little divots that are going to be in there. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to carry on rubbing this down and I'll come back to you when we're at the stage of filling. Right it's another day now I basically just went over these panels got them prepped and I've just given them a panel wipe so we're going to give them a skin of uh, filler now. I've got um what I'm using is P40 body filler and it's fiberglass reinforced formula so that'll just give it that little bit more strength but we've had a bit of a mail call since I was recording yesterday and what we've got here is we've had two bottles of these from Justin Archer and he's actually sent me one and my dad one so really appreciate that Justin this is actually my dad's one while I was at home so I just wanted to show you what it was so I can hear him outside now Let's see what he's got to say for himself. He's even filming in here, look. This is your bottle. Hold on, oh, what we got here, hold on. I'm going to get my camera next to yours, first of all. So Fine. I can see what's happening there. Let's put the camera straight, hold on. You should get a few more subscribers like being in this video. Up, see? Hey? You should get a few more subscribers being in this video. Right, let me come round here, let's see what's going on. I've got another sticker, folks. I'm telling on his channel now. Thanks, Tim. I know you probably watch his channel as well. I've taken over again, yeah? Yeah. Tim Glass cut a pile, my Tim, that's gonna go on the wall of fame, buddy. Right, what have we got here? I've got two of these in the post. This right. is your one. Who got us this? Justin Archer. Justin, thank you very much indeed, Justin. And I again, it's fantastic stuff. I love that saying that word. Fantastic. Someone said you say that quite a lot and all. It's Stop fantastic. repeating yourself. So I'm gonna put that to good use. It's like, although I've got the parts washer, when I'm cleaning an engine outside or doing bits outside, it's so handy to have this in a little container. You yawn, you know what? I'm huh? just, it's got a habit of doing things in the background of my video. Now I'm talking to my camera, not your camera. I don't care what you Let do. Let me put that down there. So right, so I did tell you that when you started up out here the other day, it was a bit rattly. I never said nothing, but I said it was a bit rattly. Did you? What's your answer to that? I wasn't listening. Well, I've seen a few of the comments you left to people who've said that. You said, no, it sounds sweet as enough. Through the, eye, through the years of an expert, <clears throat> I can tell you, see. And they are right, so you was right, people. So what are you going to do about it? Go out for a blast. I don't know, I need to bring the keys round and listen for myself. Well, I could hear it and they could hear it, so that's the problem there. It will need either cam shaft, a cam chain adjustment, or it will need a cam chain and tensioner kit. And you've, the automatic adjuster comes with it. I've had a look at the price, they're not actually too dear. 
but it's uh, not not so much of an involved job. It is an involved job, but you'll have to do that on your own then, won't you? Well, you buy it and we'll fit it. It's not going to work like that. Right, what are you doing here anyway? Just panel wipe these and I'm going to put some of this in. He's done a bit of plastic welding on the old uh, NRG Piaggio. So, is it Piaggio? NRG, yeah. yeah. So that's plastic welded and he's just going to do all that. We won't, we won't watch this, but let's put that sticker on the wall. We'll leave him to his own devices. Because everyone says, uh, including Ali Mac Mechanical, that old geezer's popped in on your video again. Yeah? Yeah. Well, at least he's watching. There you go. Right, so I've took the cap off. What we're going to do is just get a, a nice dob of this out. So we'll leave that there. And then you just want a little pea size hard than that. Let's just pop that lid back on there for a the minute. And then you want to mix this in until you've got the same consistency. You don't want to be playing with it too long because it will go off. So You're just going to go over that. And don't want to go too mad. Just give it a nice skim. You can always put more on if needs be. The more you put on, the more you'll have to sand off. And what I'm going to do now is I'll just mix another load up and I'll just do the other panel, but you don't need to see that. So I'll be back with you in a minute. Right, and as you can see, that's all had a coat of the fiberglass filler. So it has been plastic welded and I've just gone over the fiberglass filler just to give it that extra precaution. But I say it was solid before we added this filler. So I'm really happy with that. This filler was just gonna blend in all them little gaps that was left there from the plastic welding. I'm gonna leave this to set now. I'll probably come back tomorrow, so I'll give it a good uh, time to set, and then it'll be ready for the rub down. Hopefully we can get these in some sort of primer, and then we'll get the front panel done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these to set now for the rest of the day, and I'll come back tomorrow, and hopefully that should be hard enough, and then we'll give that a rub down, and then we should be at the point to, where we're ready to get a bit of primer on it, and um, they should be ready for painting. And I'd still need to get the paint, but I ain't gonna get the paint till I've done the front fairing, because there was a crack on that as well, so, I've still got the same procedure to do on the front fairing. I probably won't show that as I've showed you what I'm doing with the side fairings there. It's just the same procedure. There's only a little crack on the front, so that's not a big job. Right then, so this has had time to set now. And as you can see here, I've actually sanded this one down, so I'll give you a before and after. So this is before we put the fiberglass filler in, and it's rock hard as you can see. There's no, no flex at all in that. So it's had the plastic weld, then we plastic welded more plastic into it using a cable tie and then we skimmed it off with some of this fiber class filler just to fill in any little um, divots so there we go and this is the one that we've sanded down and that is smooth to the touch now that is fully feathered in and I took that down with a 120 grit paper so I've just got to finish up a little bit here just in this groove here but the main unit is smooth as anything. I will put a bit of stopper filler in these little scratches here because you can just feel them. Only just slightly, they've, they're nearly feathered out. There's only a couple on there that you can feel. And there's that crack down there that we repaired. Again, solid. So this is nearly ready for primer. I say we'll just have a bit of stopper filler just on the top there just to finish it off. All these edges are nicely feathered in. You can't feel nothing there. What I'm gonna do, is I'm just going to sand this one down. We'll put a bit of stopper filler just over the tops, and I think that'll be this video because then we can uh, prime them and paint them in a later video. Right then, so I've put a top coat of uh, stop filler on that now. As you can see, I've won over the whole patch so we can give it its last final sand and just blend everything in. So we should get a nice finish on that when we come to um, prime it and paint it. But I'm going to leave it here for this little video. So I hope you found that. A bit interesting how we do a bit of plastic welding here. We're no professionals. This is what we just do. Say so we use the old soldering iron, put a channel in it, then get yourself a bit of um, an old cable tie, and then you just melt that into the, the little channel you've made. And then I just like to go over it, as you've seen in the video, with a bit of top 
fiberglass filler just to give it that little bit more reinforcement and then a final skim of just body filler just to take out any imperfections this is the stage we're at now hopefully the next time you see these panels we should be getting them ready for a bit of prime and a bit of paint so we're going to leave it here now and i'd like to say thank you to tim palmer for your sticker and justin archer for the gunk degreaser really appreciated and if anyone else wants to check out the amazon wish list there is a link down below whatever we get off that goes back straight into the channel and we really appreciate the help and support from you all anyway until next time we'll see you about Thank you.